Okay, so headless CMSs. Cool. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> point of a headless CMS? Isn't it just less, worse? So classic CMS, so we have a editing interface. You can author your content. And then of course you have uh, the database, which you can think about as uh, the body in this metaphor. And then you have an integrated head. So this is the thing that makes the web pages that the visitors will see. So this is the classic system where everything is integrated as one monolithic system. The point of headless systems isn't actually that you don't want heads, it's that you can pick and choose. So you still have your authoring interface. You have your hopefully awesome, if you're using Sanity, data back backend where you have all your documents and do all your kind of backend th things. But then the head, you severed the integrated head, you don't want it because you want to pick and choose your heads. So maybe you have a, maybe you like Ruby, so you have your uh, website as a Ruby uh, head, and then maybe someone asks to have your content on some screen in some uh, airport somewhere, and maybe you have an uh, Alexa skill that takes some of your content and presents it to a voice interface. So you build all these kinds of heads. Maybe it's like you have a podcast XML generator. That's one of your small heads, that is one small thing. So you can just pick and choose, and then now your content, it can go into the future, and it can be suited to all kinds of technologies that are upcoming without actually reauthoring your content in any way, as long as you model your content properly. So that's the grand idea of the headless CMS, not that you don't have a head, but you have several heads, and you can change them out as you need them. Awesome, great, thanks. <laughs>